Jazz for Tessa and Scott. So are help we us. supposed to clean it? Are we responsible for it? Well, I mean, I don't know who who's the maintenance is bestowed to, but maybe like... Ben said he would make... chime in. Yeah. yeah. Earlier, Ben's, yeah. Ben's a really good guy. Yeah, he's really good with all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Snow removal and polishing and everything. He's your guy. This has been a hell of a year for you two. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> has it not? Oh, it has. It has. It's, I'm still like shaking and coming down from that. That was very exciting. We've stood on podiums around the world representing Canada. But this might be your proudest moment yet. What were you feeling? Uh, incredible nerves, but really? also like a lot of emotion at the same time. Which is probably why my heart's beating through my chest. I always thought I was a bit more of a skater than a talker, but here we go. Tearing up on stage, Scott lightens the moment. The Canada's Walk of Fame board members. We're confused, but extremely <laughs> grateful for this induction. And seems to go off script ever so slightly to show big love for his other half. I don't know if I deserve to be on the Walk of Fame, but I'm damn sure that you should be on the Walk of Fame. I'm so proud of that. I'm proud of you, too. <laughs> You're so eloquent and good in those moments. Oh, just... It's so nice to see that genuine reaction. We've had few moments to really stop and take stock of what's happened. So yeah. I think it's nice to be able to do that in front of Canada and with yeah. Canada. I think it makes it even more meaningful. I mean, not many people get to experience true. that with their best friend. That's true. That's so sweet giving us all the feels. And it's their friend slash presenter, Max Herman, who sums up their dynamics so well. The, the thing you guys Go have to together is that you are the more slightly more like formal and you could like be leading a country. I'm the hype man. But you're the hype man. You're the hype man. Like, yeah. But this is it. You loosen her up too. So it's great. It's a perfect That's balance. balance. That's what yeah. you want. Performing at Canada House during the Pyeongchang Games, Max got to know the pair off ice. Every night, a lot of the Team Canada would go to karaoke bars or like really drink as much beer at the Canada House as humanly possible. <laughs> and it was, that was a great time. It's very non-Olympic very quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, that was after the most decorated skaters brought down the house with their gold medal moment. So you mentioned nerves and emotions. Where, where does that rank on the nerves and emotions of, say, the Olympics? Well, it's pretty high uh, because... <laughs> We're skaters, and yeah. we practice that skating moment so many times. But I never did that in front of Colonel Chris Hadfield, um, and I think that's what was really going through my mind. Like, <laughs> but he was so reassuring I with know, his warm smile to support. Like, easily the best mustache in Canada. Oh, 